Alright, hello everyone. So, I just wanted to make a quick video on setting up a basic LightDM display script. Um, I love the XFCE desktop environment and, you know, I love its customization. However, one of the things I did find annoying with LightDM, the uh, display manager that you usually use with it, is that my monitors on my login screen would be out of order. Now you can go into display and just fix that uh, for your main screens, but it will still be out of order for your login screen. And so for those who are as uh, specific and stubborn as I am, you can just make a very simple script. Um, my preferred way at this point is to use a render. It just lets you easily configure your layout and then you can go save as and save the script that it generates. Now the one that I use is the screen layout.sh. And what it'll do is we'll quick go in and take a look at it. Looks like oh my ZSH might be making my terminal a little slow. I need to fix that. So it's going to be very, very specific and generate all your positions. Um, any outputs that you're not using are going to be set to off. Um, I have quite a few since I have 1080 Ti as well as a few ports on my motherboard because integrated CPU and or integrated CPU graphics are a wonderful thing. So I have recently had trouble where you can go sudo nano etsy lightdm lightdm.conf and you will scroll all the way down to seat um, if you don't have a script like this I can happily or you should be able to find good examples but otherwise you can post in the comments and I can always put up a paste bin with this but you'll need to uncomment display setup script and you'll see that mine is actually in root and that is because I have recently had trouble with executing it in my user's home directory. My understanding is that LightDM runs as root so this shouldn't be the case but it could do with some weird permissions or something and but I mean I've troubleshooted it on my laptop before and you know, I even set it to for others to be able to execute it and it wouldn't work. So my solution was just to throw it in root and root uh, roots home directory and just set it to a hidden file. Not a big deal. Um, I've seen people put it in the same directory. So it's in slash Etsy slash light DM screen setup dot SH, what have you. Just make sure that it's executable by root. And in this case, it's owned by root. So no one can run it unless they're root. Not too big of a deal. So once you do that, um, restarting LightDM should be sufficient, but otherwise just go ahead and do a reboot and it should be good. If you get a flickering screen of some kind, um, the way I've done it is you go into grub and add single at the end of your kernel parameters. And that's because if you screw up this script, then you won't be able to do control alt function key to get to another tty line um, that's an issue i've had several times when i've blown this up so that let that also just serve as a warning if this is something you just don't want to mess with but um, if you can just add single to your grub kernel parameters you'll boot straight into a console or a terminal as opposed to your GUI and you can uncomment the script in your config or you can fix it if you know what was wrong. Uh, you'll also be able to view var or xorg and light DM logs to troubleshoot it more. So hopefully that helps some folks. Um, normally I've had to go hunting on forums so maybe a video will be nicer for some of you. Enjoy.